this impact driver is awesome the dcf 850 is my favorite impact driver it is philip welcome to the stream and good afternoon sir good afternoon to you guys as you can see i got the uh the man cave decked out with halloween decks so let's see uh what we could actually do with this i'm ready for halloween you guys i completely am ready for halloween I'm gonna get that tool this week. I, I I'm tired of dealing with this. Come on, I got it. Got it. Yeah. See. Oh, thank God. I. If you guys heard that ding, that's because that's the piece you could lose. That's the piece you do not want to lose. All right, successful. Ooh. That's nice. Let's zoom in on that, actually. So, yeah, like, uh, DeWalt has a very unique and robust way to keep that, keep, get, keep those ball bearings in there. God, that is cool and how they actually have that in there like that. That's cool. I like that. DeWalt, De DeWalt's anvil is what I will. Oh, sorry. I got to focus back in. DeWalt's anvil is far better than Milwaukee's. When it comes to on uh, how the unit is actually assembled, I I actually have a, a Milwaukee's uh, quarter inch hex anvil right here. We'll do a side by side comparison. You just got that. Then I need, and I think that is it. I think we're good to pull this apart. We'll see on how well they do the tri LED beams on the front. Uh, Torque uh, Torque test channel did receive this, and he actually did a video on it, but unfortunately. He actually broke the lights. So in the uh, uh, this later on this week, we're gonna take this apart and see if we can fix those lights inside. Let's take a razor blade and cut the sticker in half. Oh, one more sticker. My bad. There we go. Got it. Got it. There is a pin right here that can help keeps them in place. That is small. There we go. So that's the hammer. All right, so let's see if I, I'm hoping that I can do this. There, there is some play in there. Hmm. But it does look like it would work. I, I'm going to full full out do this to see if this can be done. I'm hoping that I could actually accomplish this goal. Because it is actually easy. And that is the... Uh... Wait, I might be able to take this. Yep, let's take that off. We don't need... We don't need that in there. There you are. I love doing this stuff, you guys. We can take that out because we don't need that a part of this anymore. At least until now. We're going to keep that separate since there's a... It has to go into a certain hole. There we go. And that screw is right there. The rod is right there. All right. So let's see what we can do with this. Yep. That is that is the the design. Okay. So that is for that. I like that that they did that. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, it is it it actually is a single uh, ball bearing. Yep, it, it is a single ball bearing. There is a washer right here along the base of where the anvil meets the the housing. God, I, I didn't know that they did that. Like, they seriously put this in. I, I can't believe that they did that for this uh, quarter inch X collet.
put that in. That's not necessary to have in there. It's not. So if you just so you guys know, if you guys take that out, you, you don't need that. Uh, just cut that off. You don't need that back in there. That's not necessary. Because like it, it, it's off right now, and look, it's not it's not moving anywhere. Like it's not necessary to have that put that back on to put this back to normal. So that should just pop out like that. That is a nice uh, anvil, though. That is. Let's compare that to the Milwaukee's. Yeah, this one's Milwaukee's. And this one is DeWalt's. Yeah, the, the DeWalt has a nicer anvil. I like that. That's actually pretty pretty crazy and that's the one that I want to put on the tool. Excuse me, on the tool. All right, we we got to cut off This is 17.8 millimeters. And we we have and here is 15, 16 millimeters. So we got to cut off about 2 millimeters. So let's do that. I last time I bought Dremels, but I bought Ryobi's cuz I want to test this out as well to see and how well that does cuz I've been using this uh I've been using this Ryobi uh, rotary tool for the past like two years or more, ever since this first came out, and it actually is a darn good tool. Ryobi makes some good stuff, you guys. They, they really do. Like I, 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 the rotary tool is one of the tools that I use a lot because I, for obvious reasons, besides just this. Now for the Ryobi model number for this, this is A nine zero C E zero seven. And Dremel makes one as well, which the Dremel version is, which I kept it just because it is 9901. And this bit is amazing. It's, it lasts a long, it lasts longer than I thought it would. All right, 17.2 millimeters, and we need, we need 0.5 millimeters to go. We're, we are almost there. All right, I got it, you guys. Oh, what a fun time. Didn't think about that really quick. Right, let's take care of that. That's a lot better in there. Got it. Alrighty, let's put some grease on. Got it. Going to be extremely generous with this stuff. Huh. Didn't think about that really quick. That should be good enough. Yep. And it is. Okay, we are going to put that plastic piece on first. Then we're going to put the washer or the ring on. All right, let's put this in the into the body. Just like that, it rotates. Got that back in its place. 
don't see anything special and there we go you guys thank god this fits it actually works all right now let's see if we can get this to rotate yep we are good to go we made a dcf 850 freak was a pain in the butt to get this off there we go that's in that's a good thing i gotta loosen that back up and just have that rotate towards the back like that perfect so you see the where it goes there we go forward and reverses back in its spot i can't believe that this is actually going back together normally See if this helps. There we go. Knew it would. Uh, hey, I, I, I agree, James. It is. I did the. Uh, I wanted a freak. Uh, the anvil's a little long, I admit, but it's okay, though. It's okay. I wonder how well this would actually work. Uh, it's it's nine o'clock by me, you guys. I'm not going to test this out, but successful. Oh, gotta put that on first. That this is a friction ring. Bam. Uh, Dewalt freak. And a Milwaukee Frankenstein. I, I bought, oh, let's actually do a little. Let's put on speed one. Let's see on, on the hits, the impacts. Jesus. All right, so when it comes to speed one, At speed one, it works. Speed two, sorry for the noise. Jesus. And speed three. Ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna hold that. I'm good on that. It works, though. It works.